Hello everyone, so today I am introducing to you a new segment, a new series on my channel and I should really have come up with a cool name for this. See this is why I need a name that begins with L, I need some alliteration. So now we're going to be calling it Languages with Kira, that's how you say my name in case you didn't know. Um, yeah, Languages with Kira because apparently now I'm really into languages. I kind of, I've always liked languages but I think recently I've been getting more and more interested in them so I've done French GCSE, I didn't do Spanish even though I kind of wanted to. Um, and I'm doing French A level so that will probably be the main thing that I will be talking about because it will be my strongest language. Um, so for that I'm not really sure, maybe doing a couple of videos in French, maybe doing like some explanations of grammatical structures or something. I'll probably be doing some vlogs and stuff because I found whilst finding French YouTubers is quite easy, understanding them when you're at that kind of level where like personally I couldn't understand them because they spoke too quickly for me and when I found the kind of English speakers who were learning French, whenever they spoke in French it was obviously easier for me to understand. So I think maybe things like that. I also have a few French books that I am reading at the moment, so maybe I will be talking about French shows, French literature, kids books. <laughs> um, but yeah, French shows and French films or something, basically just general things. So French will form the main part of it because French is like my main language. And then another one that I am definitely picking up this year is Spanish. I did Spanish from year eight, well, year eight and year nine. Um, so from like 12 to 14. Um, and yeah, I decided, there's a spider on my camera. On. Um, I decided not to do Spanish GCSE because there were other things that I wanted to do and also I didn't like the teachers at my school um, but yes so I am going to be starting Spanish and I really do not have much to go on I know obviously there's a lot of things online so things like Duolingo, Babbel and other things like the websites that we use for French GCSE are the kind of things that you can use for A-level. So I think in the next year, kind of next school year, I would like to get to GCSE level if I can. So I have actually got some goals which I have written down in my brand new bullet journal. <laughs> I'm probably going to hate myself looking back on that. And yeah, so I made a little goal page. What have I done? I made a goal page. Um, so yeah, I want to learn the present tense, perfect tense, imperfect tense, future tense, GCSE vocab, so just kind of that general kind of area, so it's like I'm following a syllabus. Um, opinions, comparisons, and possibly the conditional. So quite like ambitious, but I think I can do it. Um, and then the next one, which is going to sound a bit strange is I would like to learn Polish and I mentioned this in my get productive with me I did a bit of Polish studying for the first time um, yeah and basically if you're wondering why good question um, I'd like to learn Polish because I went to Poland well I went to Krakow I didn't really go to Poland I went to Krakow um, and I really, really, really liked it. It's one of, if not my favourite, European city that I've visited. So, um, yeah, I would really like to learn Polish just because the culture really, really interests me. And at the moment, the language is really interesting me. It was either that or German. And I don't know why, but I just decided that Polish is the one this year. So I have also got goals there. I made an exact replica of my Spanish goal page. And I'd like to learn general greetings, fruit and veg, present tense, simple questions, adjectives, and possibly like a future tense or a past tense. So I think I've left it quite basic there because I'm not expecting to learn loads because the pronunciation is so difficult. Oh my word. Like, I was trying the general greetings and I've been making like quizlets and things and you just, you say it, but it's like so difficult because it's just not like noises that we're used to making. And I know I sound really like, that's most languages, but 
It's just something that obviously I haven't tried before because I've only done romantic languages and a bit of German, so it's kind of things that I've been quite used to. But yeah, so I'm trialing Polish and I'll probably just be doing some updates and some study with me's and things for Polish and Spanish. Um, and yeah, maybe some tip videos or something, but French will form the main part of this. It will be the main thing, vlogging, hopefully. Um, just generally making some videos in French about languages, about language learning. <laughs> that is my video. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.